Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our 3 minutes with the Word Audio Devotional. Today's topic is Be Sensitive Part 2 and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Ezra chapter 4 verses 4 and 5. I'll be reading from the message translation. So these people started beating down the morale of the people of Judah, harassing them as they built. They even hired propagandists to sap their resolve. They kept this up for about 15 years throughout the lifetime of Cyrus, king of Pesha, and on into the reign of Darius, king of Pesha. The last day, we dealt with the enemy's way of circumventing destiny through his device of unfriendly friends. Today, still using the scripture from Ezra, the Bible is teaching us on some of the other devices of Satan. Scripture records that after the strategy of being friendly did not work, the adversaries began beating down the morale of the builders through outright harassment. In our time, it could be a boss at work who just starts finding fault in everything you do or a neighbor that just becomes antagonistic towards you for no reason. Whatever the case, Satan knows that unwarranted harassment can beat down a person's morale and cause the person to give up without finishing the assignment. The scripture continues to teach that when the outright harassment did not work, the adversaries began using propaganda or counsel as the King James Version of the Bible puts it. Now, have you met people who subtly puncture holes puncture holes in all your plans? People who tell you that you can't make it? People who advise you not to believe that supernatural healing still exists, for instance? People who tell you of the hurdles you are likely going to meet whenever you discuss a project with them? These are the adversarial counselors, as I like to call them. Now, please do not get me wrong. It's okay for people to give you truthful counsel. For genuine counsellors to advise you on whether or not to start a project. But when the counsel is aimed at putting you down, frustrating your purpose, or at sapping your resolve, as today's translation so aptly puts it, you must recognize immediately that the counsel is not of God. Like we said the last day, on our journey to achieving purpose, we must be sensitive and attentive to the voice of the Master. Because we are not unaware of the devices of Satan, When the harassments come or the negative counsels come pouring in, you should stand your ground with your eye fixed on the one who called you to your assignment. No need to trade words or arguments. Understand the spirit behind the contender and remain steadfast. May God open our eyes in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word. Give us the grace to ignore those who harass us for no reason and those who give us contrary counsel. Take all the glory, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com. That is audiodevotional, one word, at yahoo.com. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.